Hello, I'm Bunnery. I'm Brad Mower. And, and this, this is, is IF Extra. So, how is everybody this week? Uh, we've had quite a busy week, quite a weird week, really. <laughs> you haven't been feeling too well, have you, really? You've had a few Migraine migraines, yeah. yeah. So, it's disrupted the uh, the app a little bit. Yeah. But you're getting there, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, pe- people say, like, you should have breaks and things. <laughs> I think you should, yeah. You should take a week off. I don't, I don't know. And then put it in the store. I don't think I've ever had a week <laughs> off. Well, have one. Um, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I think maybe it's counterproductive. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, um, Time yeah. for a break. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've had like sort of migraines every 24 hours mm. like for most of the week, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I haven't got quite as much done as I wanted to. We are getting Absolutely. close. Very close. Uh, with the, no, don't say very close. Okay. You're putting more, more pressure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so we've got a list on the whiteboard uh, and I'm in that we have a list small enough to go on the whiteboard now and i'm crossing bits off you know uh apparently just looking over there um forgot password that's a thing in the app now you can reset your password uh, <laughs> yeah. if you forgot it that's cool. do you know why that would be useful because mm-hmm. one of the things people ask for is can we create an account using an email address in the app mm. you will be able to that's cool um so yeah. that bit's done as well yeah amazing um brilliant. tutorial is uh, is crossed off mm-hmm. um that's yeah. quite a big thing as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, so that's getting there. Um, I mean, we've got some sort of larger, more woolly things like settings, uh, which is <laughs> quite quite vague. That that needs to be done. Test IRL properly is on there as well. But um, like, mm-hmm. it, it works. I just want to check that like the flow of it looks nice on phones and things. Cool. So yeah, yeah. Um, doing some uh, profile stuff the other day. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's, it's coming along. Good, we, yeah. we we got a few people on it, and it it's kind of working. Yeah. Uh, it's got some really useful stuff in. Like mm-hmm. I've improved the auto retry for if an, if a drawing doesn't upload. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you know, at the minute it's just putting in odds and ends of features, yeah. and then clearing up little little bugs and mistakes. That, that have slipped through. Uh, like Amber mentioned the other day, there was a capital letter missing. You know, small things like that, yeah, but yeah. It, it does kind of make it look better if we, you know, if we catch all that stuff. So we're, we're, we're getting there. Absolutely. Um, as ever, this is all Android at the moment, yeah. but we're building this using a system which will allow us to then uh, make a version for iOS really easily. Mm-hmm. Uh, iOS, iPhone, iPad, uh, really easily. Um, the only catch is, at the minute, it uses the back button, which Android has and iPhone doesn't. Mm. So uh, I am going to need to make another pass through all of yeah. the interface stuff, it's just big... working out how we're going to sort of have, you know, like if you go into the detail of a game, how do you get back to the gallery? On Android, you press back. Uh, on iPhone, we need to work out where we're going to have a back button. Mm-hmm. We have a reduced um, top bar to try and save a bit of space. So um yeah. i mean it might it might be that it doesn't fit in there maybe we can do something somewhere else yeah, anyway, we'll work it out that's that's my problem to deal with <laughs> um so yeah android uh probably almost ready to go out to more testers if i have another week or so maybe may, maybe we can just roll it out maybe we can roll it out and then just really quickly patch anything that comes exactly. up yeah. um i know people say that this is a problem with with games industry where people <laughs> release stuff and then day one patch it but mm-hmm. um we're, you don't know until people try do you yeah, really i mean yeah. we're, we're we're a very small team um there's literally just me building this yeah. uh and um we have some t- volunteer testers the only way we're going to catch all of the bugs is getting releasing it more people on mm-hmm. it and then i can just fix them quickly yeah so we'll see what happens cool. so yeah android pretty soon uh iphone what what we that. might do is use the first set of feedback from android to fix up any bugs that we've missed yeah. and then do an iphone version after that yeah so cool you know weeks not months but um that's really good yeah that's amazing I mean, considering how much you've had to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's hard so work. tired <laughs> um but uh, the plan was to get it done for tomorrow eh, it's not going to happen let's just put that out there yeah but um, tomorrow we're having a party. We are. We <laughs> so are. <that's> something. <laughs> um, yes. So tomorrow, tomorrow is not the twenty eighth. Tomorrow is the twenty seventh. But you know, it's it's a Sunday. Twenty eighth was a Monday. But um, interference is eleven on the twenty eighth of June, twenty twenty one. 
Um, so yeah, we're having a party on Sunday. It's yeah. close enough. Um, yeah, yeah, because we've been doing this for eleven years, mm -hmm. which is amazing and impressive and scary and ridiculous all <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, yeah, still going there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, still getting away with it. Um, um, got an awesome community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we 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 love all of you, and you yeah, know that's why we keep doing this stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll save a lot of the like. What are 11 years um, for the Sunday. birthday party? Because yeah. um, we're going to have a little birthday party. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, those who've been around for a while, we started doing this a few years ago. Normally, we'd, we'd kind of get together and, and have a little party, but, you know, virus and all this kind of stuff. So what we're going to have is a birthday party stream mm -hmm. uh, over on twitch.tv slash interference. So uh, regular viewers will know Sunday nights we run Zeitgeist, the Interference Quiz of the Week, mm -hmm. about 7 p.m. UK yeah. time. What we're going to be doing is starting earlier. Yeah. So we're going to have a little birthday party. Um, I mean, we're saying six yeah. at the moment, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But six, maybe a little earlier, depending on how things go. Maybe, maybe not, though. Six. Um, <laughs> Six is good. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, if you want to tune in to twitch.tv slash interference at 6 p.m. UK uh, tomorrow, we'll be having a little birthday party. Mm -hmm. So we'll be here. There'll be hats. Mm -hmm. There'll be cake. There'll be um, very on TV. Very, it will be on the TV <laughs> yeah. is the plan. Mm -hmm. um, as I say, normally we'd all get together in person, but you know how it is. So we're going to try and beam her over here live from the underground ferret tunnels uh, so we'll get her on Discord on this TV. We'll have a little chat about yeah. stuff, you mm -hmm. know, just waffle a bit. Yeah. Talk about things. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe we can pull some interesting stats and stuff. Yeah. Talk about talk about what's been going on over the last 11 years, what the plan is for the future. Yeah. Um, and uh, maybe even actually do some drawing. That traditionally happens. And then, <laughs> we'll uh, I'm terrible at it on camera, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll roll straight into regular Zeitgeist at 7pm. 7 7. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah, cool. that's it. But it would be very cool if you could join us because yeah. it is always nice to uh, to celebrate with people. Um, and um, yeah, I'd really hope that this new app would be out for the birthday as a present to you all. But mm. uh, yeah, not 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 Won't quite. Be long. Not Won't quite. Be long. Won't be long though. <laughs> uh, so yes, if you'd like to join us for that seven, no, no, that's just that's just autopilot yeah, talking. If you'd like to join us for that, that'll be six p.m. UK time over mm -hmm. on Twitch.tv slash interference, followed by the evening's regularly scheduled zeitgeist at 7 p.m. Cool. Okay, now it's time to see who won this week's awards. Pitch of the week this week goes to Melancholy for the tale of the sparrow and the gold-netted cherry tree. I just love the colours on that sparrow. They're just perfect. And I love the drawing style. It looks beautiful. Well done, Melancholy. My favourite description this week was Ron Weasley wearing glasses playing guitar by TARDIS. Now, originally this was supposed to be a drawing of Ed Sheeran, but then now that you point it out, I kind of see where you're coming from there. Nice work, TARDIS. Community pick of the week this week goes to Catcus for Scene from Fantasy, Lord of the Rings, Seen Through Round Windows. Um, this is something that was in an IRL game, so it was drawn by a cactus in charcoal in real life and then uploaded into the game. That is brilliant. Well done, cactus. They were amazing. Awesome stuff there, as always. Okay, now we're going to see what we were talking about last week in the forums. So last week in the forums, I said, what's new? Um, have you discovered anything new recently? A podcast, a TV show, a book, a life hack or some amazing fact? Let us know. So I found this um, awesome podcast, which is called You're Dead to Me, and it's all about history. So they choose someone from history. They have an expert on there. They have a, a comedian. They tell you loads of facts. And then at the end, there's like a little quiz. Yeah. I'm learning loads about history, things that I never even knew. This week, it was um, Eleanor of Aquitaine. Apparently, she was wife to Henry II and mother to um, Richard the Lionheart and evil King John. Hmm. It's quite interesting. I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> I, I overheard uh, a bit of this when you were mm. listening to one, and it was was quite cool because it's yeah. done by like comedians, isn't it? Yeah, it so is, it's yeah. like it is actually funny quite as funny. well. So yeah, 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 that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, you learn all kinds of stuff. Yeah, Rainbow the Dragon Cat said, "I've recently found a D and D podcast called Dungeons, Dragons, Daughters and Dads. It's pretty funny, although I like the first episode more than the second. So that sounds quite interesting, yeah. doesn't it? If you're into D and D, um, we watch." Um, 
Oh, yeah. Irregularly, yeah. Uh, because we're really behind on them now. But we watch um, the uh, outside Xbox team and their um, Dungeons & Dragons adventure. Oxventure, they, they call yeah. it. Um, but yeah, yeah, so it's like the crew from outside Xbox and outside Extra, and they're, they're doing we'll D&D for the yeah. first time. And it's it's really funny. It is funny um, because it's just havoc. Yes, it's yeah, it's good. Um, Vice Nart says I rediscovered something. I, I I rediscovered something rather than discovering something entirely new. I found my long forgotten blog where I reposted several short stories I wrote when I was younger. Ooh. Rereading all of them felt both super embarrassing and nostalgic. Since those were written during the carefree days of preclinical courses. <laughs> yeah. We've got, I've got an old blog somewhere. I haven't mm-hmm. done that. I wrote mm-hmm. when I was at work <laughs> with you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's a long what, time ago. What are we now? 2021. Mm-hmm. So that was like, pff, you were writing that 18 years ago or something, weren't oh my you? goodness, really? Yeah, yeah. It would have been like 2002, three, <laughs> something like that. We should read that again. <laughs> Uh, I have an archive of all of it, I know just you in do, case the yeah. blog service ever went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Well, awesome. I mean, we did it's just waffle. We did <laughs> once talk about trying to turn it into a podcast. We did, as absolutely. like, um, like a like a story, yeah. almost. Because yeah. all we had all these random crazy adventures, <laughs> uh, and then you wrote about it in like a not entirely yeah. uh, serious way. Yeah. But yeah, we did think about trying to do a podcast. I think I recorded like a. I think we a, tried a little a bit, didn't one. we? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, but yeah, it's really interesting looking back on things yes, and yeah. kind of the, like, I was going to say the world, but I mean, look, looking back at things and like, you know, your life was mm. in a different place at the oh, time yeah. and it's weird and nostalgic. And then, but I mean, to be honest, if we look back at anything from two years ago, the world was in a different <laughs> completely place. Completely different, um, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I mean... Mm. Anyway, yeah. Let's, anyway. Go, yeah, let's go and see what we'll be talking about next week in the forums. Have you ever seen a ghost or a UFO or had some experience that you just can't explain? Tell us about it. If you'd like to chime in with that, just head over to the general discussion forum. It's the pin thread for the week, so you'll find it at the top of the thread list. Cool. Now, don't forget, tomorrow night is Zeitgeist Party and also Zeitgeist Quiz Night. (laughs) Um, So we're going to be having the normal quiz, but this time we have chosen all the easiest rounds that we've had over the years. So it's like the jam Zeitgeist 20. Mm. Not Zeitgeist 20, Zeitgeist quiz. <laughs> so, ju- mm-hmm. just in case anyone skipped onto this bit because mm-hmm. they're interested in quiz rather than my, my waffle earlier, mm-hmm. just in case you missed it, um, it's Interference's birthday on Monday, so Sunday night we're going to be having a birthday stream. So mm-hmm. Zeitgeist will be happening as regular at 7pm, yeah. but we'll also be on earlier from 6pm um, with a little birthday party. Just It'll checking. be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, so one of the things we discussed mm-hmm. was uh, on Zeitgeist 20 a while ago, mm-hmm. we had ultimate marmite where we found the questions that people found hardest and redid those questions uh, to uh, to see if we did improve (laughs) and and, yeah we we had improved a bit we had yeah yeah. (laughs) but we decided to go the other way with it because it's it's birthday party it's like time for nice stuff we're going to do ultimate jam yeah so the way it's worked is i've gone into the database because we have all of these amazing stats and everything Mm -hmm. done some like cool queries and stuff Mm -hmm. and i have figured out the five jammest Mm -hmm. topics so the Mm -hmm. topics that had the highest correct average rate and the highest number of of people playing yeah so like they're 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 topics where like we only had one incorrect answer in the topic that that kind of thing so uh so yeah yeah it's it's all the stuff (laughs) that people found easiest but just to clarify it's not the same questions it's the same topics topics. so the five topics that most people people were good at exactly and then you've written new questions and we're going to have five rounds of five questions each just like normal yeah, so it should be fun. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be interesting. And yeah. you've picked new drawings to go with them. Then, I have, you? yeah, I've chosen new drawings. Yeah, so and um, this time I've chosen drawings from Heraclean, Donna, Epic Eyebrows, Lavender Tales, and Space Mermaid. So there's some older drawings and some newer drawings, so they're not all just from this week. I mean, uh, I feel like we haven't seen Donna for a while. But no, no, like, we haven't. It's Don- an old Donna, picture. yeah, yeah. She was awesome at drawing. I mean, this is, uh, you know, like 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 we said, we've been doing this eleven years. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got some good drawings in the archive. Oh, yeah, we do, yeah. we do, absolutely. I, I live in hope that Donna will come back one day. Yeah, yeah maybe. Hope, hope she's doing well. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, okay, mm-hmm. cool. So that will be tomorrow night's quiz. Yeah. We'll be starting early with waffle, you know, party and stuff. But the quiz will still happen at seven. So yeah. if you just want quiz, roll up normal time. Yeah. All is well. Okay. So last week um, on Zeitgeist, um, Callum won. 
217. Oh, yeah, he was storming in I those know, last answers. I know, and then Darth was second with 206, and Jess was third with 200, exactly. She's pretty good, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, we always say the, the target is for, like, the winner to get just over 200, mm -hmm. or, like, the top three to get just over 200. Just so that works out perfectly, yeah. doesn't it, I think? And then on Thursday, we have the Zeitgeist 20, so 20 questions on the same topic. This week, it was called, Who Am I? Lots of clues to different mm. people, <laughs> real and fictional. <laughs> and guess who won that? Won. Darth won it with 205. That means you got all the questions right and five of the quickest yeah, answers as well. That's pretty good going, isn't it? Goose was second with 193 and then Blue Jay Tempest was third with 180. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So next Thursday, once we've had all the exams party, um, is that guy's 20 will be called at the zoo. At the zoo. At the zoo, yeah. I'm 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 gonna call it now. Does this involve baby animals? <laughs> Maybe one or two. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Yeah. At the zoo. Okay. That, that that's cool. Yeah. 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 And I, I know about animals a cool. bit. Yeah. I do. Just not babies. Yeah. You do now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Okay, yeah. um, so okay. Yeah. If you'd like to join us for that, that'll be Thursday mm -hmm. at seven p.m. Yeah. UK time. Twitch.tv slash interference. Okay. So uh, but I mean, just just one, one more time. So, okay. uh, as I say, Interference is 11 on Monday. We're going to be having a little birthday party on Sunday. So, join us for cake, uh, waffle, um, chat, hats. nonsense, maybe drawing, a bit of drawing. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe cats. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll bring Get cats, cats up. up here. Maybe a um, goose. You and know. we'll, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and uh, then we'll have Zeitgeist as normal at seven. So if you'd like to join us for party shenanigans, uh, we'll call that 6 p.m. UK time, twitch.tv slash interference. Okay, that's all the news for now. So it just goes to say. Yeah, if you're not already taking part in the game, then get involved. You can play along on the web at playinterference.com or just search for interference in the app store on your phone. You can also get social with us. We're on Twitter at PlayIFX, on Facebook at Play Interference, and we're also on Patreon at patreon.com slash interference. If you want to give us a bit of monthly support, the ongoing maintenance of the game, building this new app, running the quiz, building new interactive stream things that we want to do once we've uh, finished this app off, mm -hmm. uh, you get uh, cool things in interference like the ability to view replays of drawings. And if you're a quiz player, you get a custom entrance shout out from Ava. Yeah, you can decide what it is mm. yourself. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. So we'll see you again next week. Yeah, have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye.